the art teacher and again we're together working on our clay project we made the clay using cornstarch and baking soda last week and then we made our beautiful bees uh, with some detail on the wings that you can see right here using the toothpick and today we are going to make flowers the flowers for the bee uh, I made my California poppies doesn't look very good but that's okay I did wanted to show you something that don't look perfect all the time but for the flowers today we're only going to need hands the clay you made you could use a surface like a glass that is flat and rolls to do a little bit of rolling I also use a toothpick to cut and um, maybe a little butter knife or something not really sharp but it's just to do the cuts a little smoother and that's it so let's see how it goes and let's get to work all right so you're going to need your clay uh, toothpick and maybe a small butter knife or something not terribly sharp to work with okay um, after that you're gonna pull a small amount of clay out and you're going to roll it either using some your the palm of your hand or you can actually use something flat to roll it like a glass or a bottle anything that will make it flat once you have a, a flat spread of clay take a toothpick and make the design of your petal you will have to make one petal at a time and then you can take a dull blade like a butter knife to cut the petal out and it will also help you lift the excess clay surrounding the petal find a safe spot to keep your petals for a while until you finish them all in my case I chose to use an egg carton because given that I was doing the California poppy shape it was the perfect spot to keep all my petals safe. As you can see, they fit independently and they keep the shape of my petals. Now that I have finished all my petals, I got my the tip of my finger wet and right where the petals meet I am applying a little bit of pressure by putting them together and I keep my finger moist to use it as a glue all right it's very simple it's just a little bit of pressure while the clay is still wet you can uh, use a pencil to make a hole through the bottom of your flower if you're planning on putting a step. If you're not, leave the flower alone. This has to be done with a lot of care because the clay is still wet. Um, once this is done, put it back on the tray and you have to leave it for at least one to two days to dry. And that's it, the process is done.